Now we have this area done, but our upper area is still not done, it's not foldered. And now, since this is the template, you're not gonna have to do anything special, but you're still going to have to add the navigation. Uh, so, home. Ah, I have a tag on. So, right, home, color it red. Or you might want to change the background, however you do it. That's base and that this. This has to be white already. You might want to change the colors after you're done with them, actually. Uh, templates. Uh, bio. And contact. I don't want this to be this big. I want it to be 18 bit. This is way nicer. And this is our upper area done. Lock this away as well. Now, we will do our main any area. Just create a new folder. Main area. And add our main header. As, I'll just write welcome. Uh, here goes the standard text. But the main text, text area is gonna be fixed. So hold down, just click anywhere you, when you want to start the area and drag where you want to end it, then change your real font size and just paste it in. And this is our main area then. Now comes the side area and then we're done. Um, what I want to do is add another header here. Change the font size back to 24 and tutorial, latest tutorials. Ah. Uh, maybe you want to use a grid lineup. I'm just going to visual line it up. Shit, can't exactly line them up. Oh, fuck this. Sorry. Now, just start creating them. The first one I'm gonna use right on, because this is a hyperlink. As you can see, hyperlinks, well, I don't know. This is a used hyperlink, active hyperlink, but I'll get to hyperlinks in some of the next tutorials. You don't need to know anything about the hyperlinks yet, but just is the title of the tutorial and find these up and just press enter select E222 and create the description Now, you see the three dots here? 
I actually had four dots and the last one I color red exactly the same color as this font I only think it's brighter actually it doesn't need to be exactly the same just random red it doesn't really matter you're not gonna pick up if this and this are the same color and now well we had one more thing to this and this is the splitter or slicer or whatever you guys like to call it but now before I add this I need to know how wide this is because I add them in a different way than most of you might most of you take this pencil tool make it make it one pixel wide very big make it white and then just draw a line like this but I'm actually gonna use the rectangular marquee tool and first I need the ruler to make sure how big this area is gonna be and holding down shift I can see the end result up here it's 225 so take the rectangular tool and fix size 225 times 1 yeah this happens you it doesn't it didn't used to happen in the older versions but you need to make sure that you use px as pixels in this upper area where you designate the size and now just fill it Fill it with white. And this does look bad, doesn't it? Just position it where you want it to be. And then play with the opacity till you're satisfied. I'm satisfied with 10. And now merge these. Duplicate them by Control J. And now, well, maybe you want to add something else like, hmm, I don't know. I'll add my design. Just to line this up. Now we're adding thumbnails of other templates. Actually, this one I'm going to add as well. Uh, but here's the thumbnail creator I made earlier. Here are both of the templates I'm gonna add as thumbnails. And well, image image size. This is the same size, and just so constraint proportions is on, and make it 100 pixels wide, and we have our th thumbnails. Copy this. Yeah. Control Shift plus C copies merged. I don't know if you want to do that. Uh, just paste it here. Then position it. Uh, now copy again. Oh, wait, this failed. Had the wrong uh, layers. God, excuse me. It's getting tired. And delete this one. And, well, what do you think? Is it finished or why? See you in the next tutorial where I will be talking how to make a cascading style sheet that con controls the layout of this site and theme. See you then.